Well, hello there, painted lovies. Um, Jonathan here. I thought I'd do a live this week because I've been busy doing something, which I'm going to show you. Um, no tutorial, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry about that. Um, let me know what this connection is like. If it's bad, I'm going to quit. Um, so anybody that's watching, please just tell me whether I'm fuzzy or not fuzzy because I've been playing around again with the Wi-Fi and all of the connections and the 3G and all of different things, trying out whether this will be clear for you guys. If it's not, I give up. <laughs> um, so uh, morning from Australia. Good morning. Um, Please, somebody just tell me whether I'm a bit fuzzy. I'm going to move around. I'm going to move the camera around a little bit, like run about, because that tends to knock out the connection. Um, I'll just wait for a few of you to come on. Um, clear. Right. Um, that's good. I wonder whether when I move around, it'll go dodgy. Blurry. Somebody else has put blurry. That might have been because I wobbled the camera. I'll stay, I'll stay put. Keep on telling me whether it's uh, clear or not clear, whatever. Just pop it in the comments. Um, as you can see, I'm a bit, I look a bit sweaty. I've been busy for the past three days. Um, it's clear, blurry. Some people have got blurry, some people have got clear. Clear, blurry. <laughs> Which one are we? Um, is it my top that's making it fuzzy? Maybe it's my top. You're not used to seeing me in um, non-working gear. I've just literally jumped out of the shower. Clear. Lots of people saying clear. I'm going out and back in. Good idea. It could be your connection. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to start uh, rambling on as I usually do. Um, so this week I've been um, remodelling the workshop for your viewing pleasure. Um, every year I tend to have a bit of a clear out and freshen up. So that's what I've been doing. I did not, um, I did not um, film this. That's why I've come on live and people are used to seeing a live from me here, which you probably won't get one next week. Uh, sorry, a live, a tutorial. You probably won't get one next week because that's when I'm heading off to Derbyshire in the UK to do the event, the Business Painters Conference, where I'll be with Annie, but I will film some of the content there and try and throw something together so you guys can see what happened at that event. Um, uh, now clear, yes, that's great. So, um, so you might not get a tutorial probably for four weeks, and I'm really sorry about that, but. This is why I've been remodeling the workshop because when I come back, I'll be full steam ahead with some very exciting new things. I've got a few new products that I'm going to be trialing and using, some very exciting ones from different brands, some from Annie. Um, I've got some from IOD, so they will be um, something that I'll be playing around with. Oh, I don't know if I meant to mention some of that, but anyway. Um, slip of the tongue. So I will be um, bringing lots of new content to the channel. So that's what I wanted to um, explain. I won't be here four weeks, but I will bring something, even if it's taking you on the journey with me, um, what a painter does on tour, like I did in Germany. I think it's really nice for the people that can't make these events that they can see what they're all about. Um, there are still tickets for both events. Um, so if anybody's interested, make sure you grab a ticket because they're nearly all out, I think. So, um, and there's some amazing artists there. I'm really excited about being there. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble on. So the workshop, I am gonna give you a, a real tour of the workshop. I'm gonna show you the side that I don't normally, where are the events? One is in Derbyshire, UK. Um, and that, that's a lovely, um, it's a two day event. That's the Painters Business Conference. And the other one is in New Orleans um, with Annie Sloan. That's the big paint weekend with Annie Sloan with lots of really amazing artists. Brush by Brandy, um, the New Orleans event, um, Ada, Quitter Allen, oh, and many more. Um, 
Pigeon and Pip. I'm going to forget names. I'm so sorry. Um, but they're going to be great events. So there's lots of us showcasing um, our paint techniques and styles of painting. So, and it's not a, a paint and do. It's kind of paint, uh, watch the um, artist paint and learn along. Um, I will see about them. Yeah, definitely do. Go over to Annie Sloan um, home and the link is in her bio. I've put it several places. It's also on one of my previous posts, but it'd be easy to go to Annie Sloan Instagram and um, check out the link in her bio. It'll give you all of the details there. Um, so yeah, Do you want to, uh, Colorado, there's lots of you from uh, America. I'm hoping that some of you Americans will come and see me in New Orleans. It would be really, really nice. I've never been to America. It's been the country that's got away from me. I have done most of Europe teaching and Australia, South Africa, many other places where I've, I've been on stage and taught some of the techniques that you guys see on the channel. So it's something really different when you actually meet people in person, not just for you guys to meet me, but the other way around, for me to meet you guys. It's really lovely to engage with other furniture artists and creators and you find so much energy from each person. So that is an amazing thing to do. So if you can get to one of these events, yes, Times are tough at the minute and tickets are pricey and um, it's, it, it is a stretch for most people. But if you can go, I highly recommend it because ultimately you're going to learn so much and you're going to feel part of the community and you get hands on with or not hands on because you won't be painting, but you'll get close um, to all of those guys that are here on the end of the camera. I'm, I'm talking too much, aren't I? So back to the workshop. You're going to see the bad side of the workshop in a minute. Um, it's all piled high with um, lots of junk and stuff. I do, this is a working workshop. Funny enough, people sometimes think this is my kitchen and probably because of the cabinetry that's on the other side, um, sounds breaking up. Um, let me know if the sounds breaking up for anybody else. Um, so yes, it's not my kitchen, it's my coach house at the end of the garden, which I turned into a workshop. I'm gonna move the camera and it's clear. Well, that's good. At least you can see. I've got my cup of tea. I won't be on for too long. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to and sounds breaking up. People keep on saying sounds breaking up. I don't know why. Clear now. We could go on all day with this, couldn't we? Clear, not clear. Um, gabbled. Sam's gabbled. I might open the door. The reason I uh, closed the door is because the kids are in the garden next door um, and you can hear the kids so I'm going to open it and sometimes that helps with the connection so right there you go proof in the pudding this is a real working workshop let me know what the connection's like now because I've moved that is a haul of furniture and loads of junk out of a cupboard that needs to be sorted sounds breaking up mm. Right, well, you're just going to have to watch me. I'm so sorry. So that's the side of the workshop that you... Better now. Mm. That's the side of the workshop that you don't get to see. That's the bit that I look at, mostly. And blurry now that you've moved. Mm. I knew it would be. Right, I'm going to keep really, really still. And I'm going to show you the new look workshop. And I'm going to try and hold it. That's the bit that you see. And we've had a change. So, let me see if I can, right, bear with me. I'm gonna kind of get a little bit, I'm gonna stand by the door. This is, this is what, see, step ladder. Right, I'm gonna pop you here, just for a moment, guys, while I set up. <laughs> This is a bit of YouTube reality, isn't it? Let me just, I'm gonna try and set up so it's really still. I have a bendy thing which holds the camera and hopefully 
that's the view you're used to seeing. There we go. It's not very good light on me, but hey ho. So there you go, guys. New look cabinetry. Um, so if you remember rightly, if you go back on another video, the worktop was um, like a, an oak colour, which is the original melamine worktop. I have covered that. Now, don't tell me off. You all know that I can do marble painting and I could paint marble. I haven't. This is sticky back plastic. Um, I've had this once before. It did really well for me. The reason that I've used sticky back plastic is tools go on this surface, um, saws, all sorts of things. You've seen me working in this space and if I was to paint this and use any sort of top coat, it would be destroyed pretty quickly. So this is a means to an end. I am going to re, I'm going to change this worktop at some point. I'm going to be putting a sink in on the other side of the room. We've not got a sink in the workshop. So when I change that side, I will also do the other side and put a worktop in there with a, a nice big sink to clean um, sticky back, uh, speak, sticky back, really durable. Yeah, it's kind of durable. Um, uh, love the organised canvas in the background. Thank you. I don't know what that says. Anyway, I shouldn't read the comments. I should read them afterwards. So yeah, that's why it got this. It has once for a year, I had this um, faux marble finish with a sticky back plastic and it did really well. Uh, and it was relatively cheap. So I've done it again. I like the lightness of the space. And of course, it originally it was um, Obersom blue with the white. And then I went back to the wood and went back into the green. I went to Amsterdam Green on the cabinet tree. And this time I've gone with a colour that's very close to Scandinavian pink. I have added um, a touch of um, olive to dirty that colour up. It's the opposite side of the colour wheel. And a bit of primer red, just I needed extra amounts because there's a lot of cabinet tree. So I just topped up what I had left and I've gone with this sort of muted dirty pink which i'm really happy with i think it looks really good with the other side of the room with the with the greens there you go i'm going to stand out of the way of the cabinet so you can see um audio is bumpy i don't know why it's bumpy i'm so sorry really like the green hanging lamp thank you appreciate seeing the workshop Thank you. I'm not going to stay on much longer. I just wanted to show you and many of you um, will see this in the next tutorial and it will be pre-recorded. I'm getting used to pre-recording. I think it's much better. You guys can see Clara. Um, short of bringing the Wi-Fi into this building, which is a long way. I don't know how we'll do that and then we'll get clearer connections. So I do apologise. I know that it really bugs you guys. So I'm gonna hop off now. Thank you for staying with me, even though connection was bad, bumpy sound, I'm really sorry. But I just thought I'd come on because I'm always here on the Wednesday and you guys are always here with me. So I didn't want to let that just go without saying hi. And now I've done it. So I'm gonna go and get some supper because I am hungry after three days of painting this. So I will catch you all soon. Um, like I said, next week I'll be getting ready to go to the first, um, the first, I might come live again, but maybe from the house so you get a better a view. It'll be, so I won't be doing the tutorial next week, I don't think, but I'll be doing, um, some, uh, filming some footage while I'm away. I'm rambling. I'm literally, my brain is mashed. I'm going. Lots of love to you all. Happy painting and I will catch you all very soon. Take care.